Hi, this is the fellow passenger speaking. In this video, we are going to look at shimmer reverbs and how you can make your own one just using stock plugins. I got the inspiration for this from the Valhalla Shimmer, which is a premium reverb that you can purchase online. As you can hear, it gives you these really long reverb tails, but to create the actual shimmer, you have to turn the feedback up. You can hear these rising notes and it's currently set to rise by 12 semitones. And the more you turn the feedback up, you more pronounced this effect will be. And you can make this go negative as well. So how can we achieve this with just stock plugins? To do that, you're going to need to use a return track. You can't put a reverb after here, and I'll explain to you why. So here I got return track A. It's just a standard one. And I've got a standard reverb in there. I haven't changed any settings here yet. So if we turn that up. A bit of reverb, turn the decay up, we can get some long tails. But we don't get that pitching shimmer. So to create that, we're going to need to change the pitch somehow. If you click on audio effects and then go into the pitch and modulation and you choose a shifter and you put that before the reverb, in the return channel. This allows you to pitch your sound by semitone. So let's set this to 12 semitones here. That's going to, we also should set the dry wet to max in the return channel. Still don't get those long pitching, continuously pitching tails. And if we put the decay up, it's not gonna, going to continue pitching up like the Valhalla one. But then we go here and you have to right click on the return channels send and enable that send. What that does, it's going to allow us to feed the reverb back into itself. And every time it does that, it's going to shift everything up by 12 semitones. So this will be, this dial here will be the equivalent to the feedback dial in the Valhalla delay. So let's see what it sounds like when we turn this up. And there you see, you also get those really long tails because it's a longer reverb that feeds back into itself. You can change, let's turn that back up to 12 because that's quite easy to hear. We turn down the decay a bit. You can affect the speed of that, those rising notes if you change the pre-delay. So let's turn that up quite a lot. So there you have it. I quite like to turn these off, but it means you can all play around with the other effects. Play around with the other settings, I mean.
Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful and make sure that you check in on Monday because I got a really interesting interview coming up, which is with S. Who's the guy behind the Max for Live device, Opal, and behind the company Fosh or Force, who is making Opal, also an ex-employee of Electron and has worked on the model cycles, the model samples, Digitone and other interesting things. So. Also, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would go to my Patreon, that would mean so much to me. All right, that's it. Thank you. Bye.